Hi, uh, Joe here. Hey, how are you? Welcome back. So we're here again, Data, Data Analytics Ireland. Hope you're all keeping well. So I'm just doing a follow-up video on T Kinter and specifically looking at combo box validation. So if you pick a value from a combo box, uh, validates it basically through an if statement. Very quick video, but probably very handy if you're looking for do use tkinter more and a piece of functionality you're, you're trying to incorporate this should give you a steer and what way to approach it so our code essentially is no more than good to 26 lines um it's going to take you through it quickly probably what i'll do is i'll just open this up move this over here so this is going to be our end results i'll show you what it does now in a second but let's just go through the code so we've done our imports um and obviously this allows us to, it brings us in tkinter imports our message allows us to use message box and it can be called ttk which we use down here with the combo box uh, ttk is uh, just a sep it's imported to separate the code and make the widget behavior from the code of implementing its appearance so it was incorporated to separate the code and its appearance just to make things a little easier when you're trying to write the code so again what we've done in our previous video we've basically assigned a variable called blog test to tk function and we have basically gone and done this the geometry which is the the, the width and this the length of the box that has appeared over here okay and then it's just uh, the title here so it's pretty straightforward doesn't need more explanation check values entered so in this uh, blog and uh, video, should I say, we have a function. And what it's going to do is going to check for what was put in the combo box, passed to it, and check for value. And essentially, if it's Ireland, it'll give you one message. And if it's not Ireland, select it, it will give you a different message. So just to quickly as well show you, we have a label question. Uh, variable and basically it's it is is what country do you want to visit which is this here of course ireland i hope you pick um then this is just the combo list so this is the actual combo list of values to you can choose from um essentially then the next line is saying what's the default value so when you look at this it's basically defaulting to ireland but we could default to any of these values and ireland because it's the first value and it's an index value it has a value of zero so if we wanted to default to england we'd say one scotland two and wales three very straightforward these uh, two lines here again are essentially when you you're showing the the label and the combo list in the output and basically the final um final bit of this code is a button and the idea of the button is to ask you a question, obviously, and when it's clicked, it goes back up to this function here. And basically, depending on what you picked, it will give you one of these answers. So let's have a quick look here. So we say Ireland gives you a box here. It's basically, you, you will love it in Ireland, which you will. This is the correct answer. And that's correct because Ireland here was passed. When this was clicked, it passed the value over to here. And then basically said x is equal to ireland because ireland is the value that was assigned in the combo list box um to this here um when the button was clicked so i click okay um so if we say scotland never been there believe it's nice but if again we do validate it, it now it says scotland again was passed up here to x and then it's comparing x scotland to ireland which is not true so it's coming down and giving you this pop-up box here an incorrect answer you should visit ireland first so that in a nutshell is the combo box how to create it how to basically put it on the screen how to basically put in a button to check the values in the combo box to see uh, what value was picked and based on that in the function then return a message box box and also we set the default value of the combo combo box when it was loaded so if i actually just change this to so we zero is ireland i'll just show you that then if we change this to one 
So on default now, I would expect England to appear. Okay. There you go. So as you know, the default value is, is England. Um, but again, the logic still works because England doesn't equal Ireland. So it basically goes down and gives this else statement message box incorrect answer. Okay. So there you go. That's our latest video on combo boxes in tkinter, how to create them, how to validate the values and put some default values in the combo box. And then based on that, some logic to check the value return to a function and show you some pop-up messages to validate what was returned via the combo box. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, doing more on this soon. Uh, plenty more to come. Give us a big thumbs up, please. Big subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, on the YouTube channel, we'll be also doing a blog post on this. And in the blog post, I'll be posting some of this information here and a couple of more links as well. So keep an eye out for it on the website. That will be going up, up the next day or two latest. So thanks for visiting Data Analytics Ireland and we'll see you soon. Thank you.